Now, following the weekend rain here in Fort Wayne, there's been the possibility of combined sewer overflows, meaning sewage water pipes fill up and the excess spills into our rivers. This month marks a milestone for one of Fort Wayne's rivers when it comes to overflows. Wayne 15's Chris Darby joins us now to explain. Chris? While there is the ongoing possibility of sewer overflows into the St. Mary's and Maumee rivers, the St. Joseph hasn't seen an overflow in more than two years. Especially worth noting since that is the source of our drinking water. I stopped by a few of the overflow spots along the rivers today, but didn't see any sewer water spilling out. While improvements have been made, it's still possible along our west and east rivers. The St. Joe, though, is a success story. Years of planning and work required by the state and federal governments has paid off. Now the goal is to do the same for the other two rivers by 2025. We've done a lot of work to uh, increase the capacity of our wastewater treatment plant um, and, uh, and done other work in neighborhoods to prepare for these reductions and overflows. But the largest project that's under construction right now is, is the tunnel, that uh, Deep Rock Tunnel. Um, and that project is going to collect a lot of the remaining combined sewer overflows. Uh, about 95% a reduction in the existing or current overflows will go into that tunnel. Until that's all done, when overflows are possible, you'll want to avoid touching the water for 72 hours, especially the St. Mary's between downtown and Airport Expressway, as well as the Maumee between downtown and New Haven. You can get alerted when overflows are possible. There is a link to sign up for those notifications in this story right now on Wayne.com. In Studio 15, Chris Darby, Wayne 15 News.